Hey guys, present time Lena here, coming at you looking real tired but I just wanted to say that the next clip of me eating natto is a clip that was supposed to be in the August vlog which is not happening anymore uh, and I will explain all of that at the very end of the video but yeah, the next clip is a little bit out of context, it's not introduced so just wanted to warn you guys and I'll see you in just a few minutes so, I don't know what's happening here or there or on my face but hey hi um geez I, I just turned the camera on without thinking what i was going to say but while i was in japan i had a list of foods i wanted to try and i did try a lot of them but i didn't get to try natto which are fermented soybeans and it's known to have a very strong pungent smell and a very slimy texture and I tried looking for it at the supermarket but my Japanese reading skills weren't very good at that time and they're still not very good now but they were worse then so I couldn't really figure out where the netto was and so I didn't try it but yesterday I went to the Japanese supermarket and I found some natto the only thing though is that they had a bunch of different kind of natto and I hadn't done any research I didn't even think I was gonna buy any but I saw it and I was like hey I've never tried natto so I got some but now I'm reading that it says hikiwari natto which is not the usual kind to eat on top of rice the way I wanted to do right now so I don't know how different it is but um, I'm still gonna try it I mean I bought it but I don't know I don't know um, I don't know what to expect I don't know how to eat it but I'm, 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 I'm gonna eat it now I'm hoping I'm gonna like it because I you know they come in packs of three so I can't smell it yet. I think uh, if I understood uh, correctly, hikiwari natto is the one that's like the beans are like cut into smaller pieces for cooking. Oh, so I have sauce here. Um, I don't know what this sauce is, but sauce. It doesn't smell that bad. You can see that there's like, you can't really see, but all these little, there we go. Ugh, shit. <laughs> well, that was to be expected. All these little slimy, um, oh, I can't talk today. <laughs> all these little slimy lines. It doesn't smell as bad as I thought it was gonna smell, so, so far so good. I thought it was gonna be extreme, but maybe it's because it's the uh, hikiwari, I don't know. So here, we, here it is, mixing it up, just doing, ooh, 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 it looks so weird. Yeah, so these, these beans have been chopped into pieces, so I hope it's gonna be the same kind of experience flavor-wise. I guess texture-wise it's gonna be different better or worse i don't know so i like i said i don't know much but i know you have to mix it like get the the, the sliminess in there it doesn't smell that bad it just smells like i don't know there's been something in the fridge and yeah anyway oh those lines ah, that's gonna be in my mouth oh just i just plunge it back in Oh, it worked! <laughs> Guess I do know a few things about natto. Okay, don't roll away. I'm gonna put in this, the those, these things, whatever these things are. It's embarrassing because most of, well, a good part of my audience comes from my, my Japan trip videos and are a lot of them are Japanese viewers, so I always feel weird. I should have bought like something. Tastes like mirin. That's that's what it tastes like. Tastes good. The sauce. I haven't tried the natto yet. And I'm guessing this is some kind of mustard or something. I mean, what else could it be with this color? 
pour it in pour it in there so yeah I was just saying I'm I feel very self-conscious conscious right now get out of there <laughs> I'm also very aware that you can't see what I'm doing but I'll show you time to mix it all in again I hope, I hope I'm doing this the right way now it just smells of mustard where's the, the pungent smell everyone's talking about is it because I got the, the what was it? hikiwari? is it less smelly? did I sabotage myself? I, I think the hikiwari is the one you use like in sushi and stuff like for cooking Okay, so now I'm gonna pour it over my rice. I have a bowl of rice here that I prepared earlier. Pouring it in. It's not the a real Japanese rice, by the way. I had to use what I had at home. It's, I think, long grain, maybe? I don't even know. I don't remember. Oh, it's so sticky and gluey. I have a feeling I might actually like this because it's not, it doesn't smell bad to me. Then again, is it the right kind of natto? I'm not gonna mix it into the rice too much. I wanna get the full flavor. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh god, please don't don't laugh at my chopstick skills. I always do it the wrong way. Like I, I know you're not supposed to cross the ends here, but I I don't know. <laughs> Chopstick skill zero. Itadakimasu. Mm. Mm. Let me take another bite of more, more natto, less rice. Honestly, it tastes like mustard <laughs> and it is very gooey, but it feels like I just broke a raw egg on the top of my rice and that's like the texture, the gooiness. Taste-wise, it tastes okay. I was really afraid, but it actually tastes it tastes like sauce. It doesn't taste like much right now. Let me have let me have some more and I'll get back to you in a minute. I'm really surprised at the flavor. I mean it's sticky. I can feel like there's probably some yeah, my my whole mouth area is sticky down to my chin. But it doesn't taste strong. It tastes of mustard. I kind of want to try some without mustard after this. After this, like I'll still be hungry, I don't know. Maybe I'll put a second packet of natto in there just to try. Um, shit, my camera battery's flashing already? How is that possible? I was expecting like a very strong fermented smell and I'm not getting that. I'm, I'm getting a bit of a fermented flavor, but maybe I've had beers taste way stronger than this so I'm not used to fermented food but it tastes fine I'm a little underwhelmed everyone's like oh natto is so weird and ah uh, the texture is so gooey and slimy and it smells so bad but for one I don't even smell it at all it smells slightly slightly cheesy but no, not at all. And taste-wise, there is this little tiny fermented aftertaste, but I just taste the mustard right now. Um, so that's really cool. I like it and it wasn't expensive at all. I think it was three euro for maybe just a bit over three euro for three packs. And it's supposed to be really good for your gut. So I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm considering going 
to get another pack of natto which is really weird i'm trying it without the sauce and the mustard just to see the actual taste of it but that would be a lot to eat in one go that's like a whole meal shall i do that i kind of want to do that okay hang on this is the natto the unflavored completely unflavored gonna mix it in Hopefully my camera battery doesn't die before I get to try it. I actually really like the texture, like looking at it. It's so satisfying. Okay, I got a, a good, I got a good clung, chunk here. Mmm. 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 Okay, it tastes strong. I definitely have a slight bitterness, but flavor-wise, it just tastes like beans, like un unflavored beans. So it is better with the sauce. Uh, thank goodness they they provided sauce in every pack. It tastes really good with the mustard, um, but I was I'm so shocked at how I expected it to be like really strong like cheesy and fermented and like opening it up and be like whoa what's that smell but no it's fine it's actually fine um next time i'll try the normal one but i don't think it'll change much taste wise i mean the hikiwari is just chopped up in pieces right you guys tell me tell me if i'm if i'm wrong here but yeah I like natto, yay! <laughs> I don't know why I'm so happy, but I really wanted to like natto for some reason and I like it, so... <laughs> Thanks for watching, hope I didn't make too much of a fool out of myself. On to the next clip. Me again, thank you for sticking it out so far. So, why is there no August vlog? Well, for one, I have been getting comments that my vlogs aren't very interesting at the moment and I agree. I started vlogging my life and when I say vlog, I don't mean like the more uh, refined scripted videos I do weekly. I'm talking about the little diary-like videos where I film my life and I started doing that on one vlogtober where I did it for 30 days every day and following that I did weekly vlogs and then I went to Japan and when I came back from Japan I tried doing monthly vlogs which you have been seeing up until now and honestly since I've come back from my Japan trip I haven't felt the inspiration to vlog anymore which is why everything I filmed this year feels forced, feels a little empty I feel it, you guys can clearly feel it, you've been commenting about it so I just, I took a look at what I filmed for this month of August and it didn't feel... I mean, it was fun for me to watch, to remember what I've done throughout the month but I, I felt like it wouldn't be interesting for you to watch so at the moment my life pretty much consists of work I'm dead set on this year being the year where my creative career like changes for the better so I need to put in the hours and everything about my life right now is work and vlogging does feel forced I'm like I haven't filmed anything recently let me turn on my camera but there's nothing to show you guys so long story short I am not gonna vlog my life anymore again by vlog i mean video journaling my life i will continue making videos but no more forcing myself anymore if there's something interesting to film i will film it like me trying natto i found that interesting so i'm gonna show it to you guys but no more random clips for now at least for now I'm not gonna say I'm gonna drop it forever but there's no point in me forcing myself if you guys are not enjoying it and I'm not enjoying it that's what I'm trying to say hopefully the next time I vlog again is while I'm traveling back in Japan or somewhere else and uh, yeah that will be very enjoyable for me as much as it will be for you guys so yeah, ultimately, technically there won't be any monthly vlogs unless there's something really interesting I want to show you guys but 
no worries this is not like a big announcement I'm just telling you guys why i think i've said everything which is why i'm like repeating myself if you stuck it out up until now i have a little reward for you this is a part of august's monthly vlog that i really wanted to show you guys because we have little dog friends so enjoy thank you for watching and i l word you all i'll go sleep now <laughs> my mom's house right now and she's got well her husband has two dogs uh, and one is a young one i'm trying to show you now this one is Lou <laughs> and this is the baby hey baby her name is Vali and I think they're called Alsatian hey Vali <laughs> Vali Coucou la petite chien. Coucou Valley. Coucou. Jalouse. Jalouse. Dis. Coco. Oh, elle aime pas ma caméra. Elle aime pas les films. Je crois pas. Tu veux la caméra? Non. Pourtant, t'es tellement belle. Pourtant, t'es tellement belle. Je cherchais partout pour que tu sais pas la violette, j'en ai trouvé que des oh. vidéos transparentes et qui n'est pas pour la violette. Tant qu'il fait. Oh, c'est la première fois que je la vois. Oui, je l'ai vu. Dis.